How to make $300 a day on YouTube with affiliate marketing. In this video, I'll share with you five secrets that you can implement right now after watching this video to promote any affiliate products in any niche and any industry so that you can start making sales and commission right after watching this video. So right now, I'm gonna jump inside my laptop and just show you how to do everything step by step. Now, we're gonna use this example with Bluehost, right? This particular product. And once again, you can do any affiliate products in any niche, but I just wanna use Bluehost for example purpose in this tutorial. So as you can see here, Bluehost, they do have an affiliate program. Basically, it is like a web hosting company, right? Provide different web hosting solution and they're gonna pay you $65 for every qualified sign up or referrals that you make for them. So every sale, you make $65. Secret number one is that we're gonna do keyword research and video idea research on YouTube. So right now, I want you to go on to YouTube. Say for example, starting from the most simplest one word keyword, right? For example, we're gonna promote Bluehost, we just type in Bluehost. So from there, you can find different videos about this topic. For example, this one, Bluehost WordPress Tutorial 2021 Step by Step. And right here, when I scroll down below, you're gonna see here a Bluehost review. Okay, we have some reviews about Bluehost. Earn passive income with website hosting in 2022. Here, Bluehost WordPress Tutorial 2022. How to make money with Bluehost in 2022. Stop using WordPress. So it's like you can see, and basically by just using one keyword, you can look through different type of content, different type of videos that other people are creating and already getting success on YouTube. So from there, I want you to install this Chrome extension, which is called vidIQ. You can use TubeBuddy as well. So basically, I'll leave all the resources in a video description. So basically, once you download a Chrome extension called vidIQ, and then you log into your YouTube account, when you can actually flip on this keyword, as you can see here normally, they don't have any keyword or video tags, but then if you install this Google Chrome extension, you flip on this switch, you're able to see all the video tags that this video is using that basically is trying to target these kind of keywords for this video. So for example, as you can see here, there are a couple of keywords like how to use Bluehost, Bluehost for beginners, Bluehost, Bluehost tutorial. Now when I scroll down below here and look at other videos, right? Like Bluehost review, Bluehost tutorial, Bluehost review 2022, Bluehost website builder. Now by using this Chrome extension, you can basically have a brief idea on look at how other videos they are targeting what kind of keywords in this particular product but chances are all of these guys here they're affiliates for Bluehost so say for example if I just click on one of these video okay WordPress tutorial with Bluehost by Central Media and that's gonna take me to this video here okay and guess what let's go down below here you can see start here okay centralmedia.com slash Bluehost when I click on that and that's gonna take me to here where if I sign up this guy this YouTube channel owner Central Media he's gonna get paid $65 or more by referring every single sale to Bluehost. So that's how people are using YouTube to do affiliate marketing by creating simple videos, simple tutorial videos, simple reviews, and then they attract the right kind of people who are most likely to buy Bluehost. And then once they watch the videos, you give them some sort of value and idea, you give them walk through on how to use Bluehost, you know, and then you're gonna call to action, give call to action, ask them to click the link in the video description below, they scroll down, they click here, they go to the website, they make a purchase, and boom, you make a sale. So this is secret number one by doing simple keyword research and using vidIQ so that you can get an idea of what kind of video ideas and video keywords that you can use in your content creation, in your YouTube video creation. And also another tip that you can actually use the search bar. Now, for example, once you type in a keyword, right, Bluehost, or if you're in other niche or weight loss, make money online, personal development, just type in the keyword of your offer, of your niche, and then Bluehost. And when you click on the search bar, you can see YouTube by default, the search bar will show you you some recommendation like Bluehost reviews, Bluehost e-commerce website, Bluehost versus SiteGround, like the competitor's product. So you can get an idea on what kind of products you want to promote. And then you just have to put a space bar and you can start with A, right? A letter A, you can see all the keyword suggestion of A, you can delete, you can put B, then you can see like all the videos, all the ideas. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna spend time to actually go through all of these, you know, different keywords, different ideas and look around in your space, in your industry, what kind of videos are people actually creating? What kind of videos are actually getting a lot of traction getting a lot of views so this is actually step number one by doing simple keyword so right now i want to go to secret number two is that once you check out the video right once let's say you find this video here which is very similar to the kind of videos that you want to create to promote the products that you want you want to check out their channel okay step two so secret number two is to actually dive deep and actually check out a channel and find the most popular videos. So for example, if I click on the channel central media, that's gonna take me to the channel page. And from there, I wanna click on videos and I can see 
see what are some kind of recently published videos in this channel because chances are if they are making this video okay meaning that they are in a similar kind of industry and niche you are in you don't actually study the channel look at what other type of videos or contents that actually they are producing and that might give you some credits juices flowing and see at what kind of other products you can promote as well or what kind of contents that you can produce as well in a youtube channel as you can see here they're not just creating videos about bluehost they talk about blogs they talk about websites about squarespace about e-commerce about facebook pages so some kind of related stuff around in bluehost that you can actually create as well for example godaddy right other domain website other bluehost web hosting solution you can actually be an affiliate and create different kind of videos to educate other people in this industry about web hosting web design web development and you can build up an audience and you can just keep on promoting other different related offers in your niche and industry so right now another hack that i want to show you is that you can actually click on sort by and sort by the video to most popular so they can see some of the highest views and most popular videos in this channel for example zoom tutorial for beginners and right there clickbank tutorial facebook business page tutorial or wix.com tutorial another website builder on a web solution company so by doing that you can actually get a lot of ideas about what kind of videos or what kind of ideas that you want to create and the truth is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel to like start from scratch and like think of your own strategy you know what kind of videos do i want to promote what kind of videos should i create what kind of videos should i talk about you don't have to figure out by your own because the truth is that in the market already there are a lot of people who are getting success by doing a lot of different videos they are proven to work that this one 1.5 million views this one 1.1 million views they are proven to work so what you can do is that you can just create a new version right 2021 2022 2023 tutorial so this is how you can do keyword research and source out all of these video creation ideas the video topic the different keywords that you can create videos around so moving on to secret number three we're going to use a free project management tool called trello so once again all the link will be in the video description so this is my own trello board for one of my channels here so basically it allows you to plan and manage your video creation process from end to end so from there you can see all of these columns right like video topics draft script record review edit and when i scroll to the right section here you can see thumbnails review thumbnails to upload and then from there upload it and publish so it's an end-to-end -end process starting from very left which is video topics right first off we want to draft all the videos idea and this is where we drop all the ideas here into different cards as you can see these are cards and they are movable to one column to another so from me usually i'll just like do the research right i'll just like look on different keywords i'll look at uh, what kind of videos are my competitors what are they doing i'll check out the videos i'll check out the channels i'll do all the research and then once i got the video idea and then i actually go into my trello board and i just punch in all the video ideas here on this column video topics and from there moving on to the next step let's say today i want to make this video about how to start clickbank affiliate marketing i just drag this card to like this column here to draft script meaning i know that right now i have to draft a script for this where right? i have to plan like outline the videos that i want to make about this what kind of point like highlights that i want to cover in the topic of this video and then once i make a script i drag here i start recording right and then once i finish recording i gotta edit my video so if you are solopreneur right you're just first getting started you're like a one-man team one-man business owner right you're gonna do the editing yourself right so it's just so many different tutorials on youtube that teach you about how to do video editing just simple video editing will do as long as you provide value to other people so for me i actually have my own team to do video editing so every time if i drag on to this column here meaning they have to start editing the video videos right my team will start editing the videos and i start reviewing the edit and then once you're done editing we're going to drag to this column meaning we're going to start creating the thumbnail thumbnail meaning the cover photo of a video for example this is a thumbnail this is another thumbnail so once we create a thumbnail okay next step we're going to upload to youtube right once we upload it we're going to like change you know write the video description optimize change some settings and then eventually publish and it's live to the public and people can find your videos on youtube so this is the end-to-end -end process and it's very easy to visualize the entire process so that you can know okay five videos are pending to edit five videos are recording two other videos are waiting to be published you can see the entire things in a bird's eyes view right Thirty thousand foot views so it's actually very clear for you to plan and manage your video creation process so i use it it's very intuitive very easy to use and also let me give you an example in one of the card right let's say this video here so usually i'll just put in all the resources and all the links inside my trello card for example my video script my raw footage meaning the raw recording that i have and a finished video meaning once they finish fully edited the final video the link 
will be here and the thumbnail and also the video description link right they're gonna use when i'm like uploading the video so say for example if i click on this link that's gonna take me to my google document where i actually highlight you know what kind of points that i want to cover in my video right that's a simple video script i prefer right not do it word by word because it's too stress you know it's, it's too many things i usually do point form right i'll just like outline you know what kind of like five points like three steps like in this video like five secrets that i want to cover in this video i just list down what are the five secrets as i'm recording this video i just follow the flow and i just talk about things right so everyone has different style right so this is the way i do it so i like to do point form so that i can express myself better when i start recording and start filming my videos so that's a video script so for example raw footage if i click on that link that's going to bring me to my organization google drive where we actually upload the raw footage in google and then we can actually put the link we can share the google drive link and then we just like drop it inside trello this is for raw footage this is for finished videos and thumbnails so we like to put all the links here so that it's easily for us to like click through them and look through them don't have to go through the folder and like dig down all the files right i like to keep things organized and then we actually upload and attach our thumbnail here so that you know we can see it here it looks pretty good we can recognize the video at a glance with just a thumbnail and once again we can also set the deadline here like a due date here so that we know for example we are publishing this on, on october 5th and then we can set a due date once it's completed we can just like check them off like this so it's actually a pretty good you know management tool and software and it's actually free to get started so i use it for years it saved me a lot of time easy for collaboration if in the future you have your own team or you hire a freelancer or contractor to help you with some sort of editing or thumbnail so you can you know invite them to your trello board and then you can collaborate on this board as well so this is a secret number three that i want to share with you by using a project management tool once you get a video idea you're going to put in here in your trello board now the next secret which is you're going to ask like, hey branson like how can i do my script how can i draft my script what how do i know what to say and how to present you know in my video so right now i want to share with you this simple method which is what i call the curious learner method you just have to be a curious learner to able to create content so you don't need to be an expert you don't need any money to get started with this one so all you gotta do just by follow this simple four step system okay step one you're gonna do research you can do the research on youtube or google and basically search for information related to your niche right say for example best recipes to lose weight if you're in a weight loss niche just look at different videos or back to this example of this video for example bluehost is a topic right and just look through and study and learn and research on different kind of topics and videos of other people okay research you must be curious to learn something and then once you do your research you're gonna start learning consuming the content watching the videos and i recommend you to watch the top five for the top 10 videos for example if this is a keyword just watch the top five the top 10 videos and once you finish watching the top five or 10 videos even though you have zero clue and zero idea about bluehost right you're a total newbie you know nothing about bluehost i can guarantee that after you watch the top five or 10 videos you have so much knowledge and idea about exactly what is bluehost what it is all about because right now you instantly become an expert because right now you know more than yourself before watching the five to 10 videos you become so much more knowledgeable and guess what there are a lot of people out there in the world who are just like you before watching the videos they don't know anything about bluehost but right now you are two three steps ahead of them because you consume the top five or ten videos about a topic and you are qualified to share something with them right now you are more knowledgeable compared to them just a little bit just a couple of steps ahead of them so that's learning and step number three you start to create videos and that's how you can create things is that you want to add on or eliminate something right once you watch the top five or top ten videos you're gonna learn some similarities between those videos and that's one of the things that you want to cover because they are common points and then you might see for example video number one they talk about something that video number three didn't cover so that's a unique point right you can just combine all the juiciness and all the good things and awesome stuff in every video and combine them into your own ultimate videos where you basically summarize and, and add in your own unique points right once you learn something you want to actually go on to check out the website of bluehost read some blog posts and then maybe even sign up the website yourself and basically play around and test on the product and get an idea about your own experience when you're using it so right now once you consume the top five content you can pick all the good things of these five videos combine them and just eliminate something that's just like fluff useless you know kind of points and just like kick them out eliminate them summarize them add in your own unique point and your personal experience and a personal opinion about the topic that you're covering so that's how you can make it unique while at the same time modeling success right modeling success and unique with your own point with your own unique point and step number four you just gotta share and post the videos so right now you're just like a reporter right you learn something you share something you learn something you just report and share to other people and then this is the curious learner method curious learn something learn and share learn and share that's how we learn things by default so that's how you can create videos that's how you can start creating and drafting a script by looking at other people's video and then drafting out the outline the top five points you recover and just create your own video script once you rinse and repeat
repeat this system, you eventually provide so much value in the industry that you're in. For example, in a web hosting, a web development industry, weight loss, make money online industry, you're sharing so many videos that with like useful content, good useful value that help them to solve the problem, help them to save time and money. Because right now, you take the time to learn something, you tell them what mistakes to avoid, what you should do, the best way to do the thing. This save them a lot of time and resources. Avoid a lot of mistakes because they watch your video. So once you do that long enough, you have 5, 10, 20, 50 videos up on a YouTube channel. They're constantly generating you free traffic, right? Getting new viewers, new subscribers, watching your videos. They click on the link in your video description. You build your email list, right? Grow your email list. You build your personal brand. You build up your audience. Then you can actually market and sell them to something in the future. It's actually very, very valuable asset that you build up that nobody can take away from you, like your email list, your personal brand. And more importantly, it's building a skill set on how you can do video, right? Video creation, video marketing, affiliate marketing. You build up your skill set, how to record videos, how to do script, how to do research, keyword, right? You build up all the skill set and experience. And once again, nobody can take away that knowledge and experience from you that you can use that to grow your business further in the future. So this model here is everything that you got to follow. That's how you can actually come up with the script. That's how you can come up with the content, right? This is secret number four. So far, do you like it, right? If you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and tell me down below like you like it enjoy it so far so basically we've covered the video topic right how you can actually do keyword research come with the topic how you can you do the draft and learn about what kind of content you want to see in the video with the curious learner method right now moving on to secret number five the last secret they want to give you in this video which is how can i record how can i like plan out my videos well you know what kind of formula should i be using when i'm recording and plan out my entire flow of my videos so this is secret number five which is by using my perfect video formula so let me give you the outline here as you can see this is the entire length of your videos and we're gonna just chunk them down into three different main parts number one is the hook basically is where you're gonna get the attention of viewers in the first 15 seconds of them clicking on your videos where they click on your thumbnail of a videos they come on here the first 15 seconds is very very important because right now people have a very low retention and a very low attention span right people are gonna just like scrolling they're gonna like drop off bounce off click on another videos you must give them the reason to continue watching your entire videos because the number one key metric for you to get a lot of views to get YouTube to promote and rank your videos is to get people to watch your video longer. You want to increase the watch time and the retention rate in your videos. You want to get more people to watch your videos and watch them longer. You want to keep them binge watching your content and videos in a YouTube channel. So that's why the first 15 seconds is super crucial because if you do a good job in the first 15 seconds, they are more likely to continue watching until the end. If you don't, they just bounce off. So the first 15 seconds, the best formula and the best hook that you can give is to actually just restate the video idea. For example, in this video, I talk about how to make $300 a day with YouTube affiliate marketing, right? So I just talk about that in my start of the video. I just give you that because right now, a lot of people, you know, they're doing clickbait thumbnails. Like people click on the thumbnail, they go in there and they're like talking about 10 minutes of nonsense and fluff and like two minutes of intro that I don't know what the heck they're talking about. So people are pissed off right now. So just tell them, they see the title, they see the thumbnail, they click on that and just tell them yeah this is what you get so they're like oh okay i'm in the right place so you're just gonna reassure them they're in the right place this is exactly what you're getting you click for that and here you have it this is it so just spend five seconds five to ten seconds just to talk about the title and then the rest of the five to ten seconds just talk about the benefit and the outcome that they're gonna get for example in this video i talk about you're gonna get the five secrets to help you to you know start getting your affiliate sales so this is what you want and this is the reason why you're watching this video here so once you get the 15 seconds hook once you go into to the main content here and I want you to chunk it down right into small little pieces so that it's more easily consumable by the viewers right keep it stupidly simple and easy to consume for example you can chunk it down to steps secrets tips ways and units right for example five exercises five recipe seven books so depending on units that in your niche right three steps five secrets seven tips nine ways to make money you know all these are chunk it down into small different parts so that you can deliver them easier right step one two three four so that it's easier for the viewers to follow through along as well and continue the process and watch until the end. So at the very end of the video, you want to give a call to action. Okay, CTA, meaning you want to give two types of call to action. Number one is that you want them to watch the next videos on your channel because by doing that, you can keep them binge watching on your videos and on your channel so that you can rack up and accumulate more watch time and then eventually YouTube will promote more of your videos and more of your channels because it knows that your viewers actually like your videos. They keep on binge watching and watching the next one and the next one and you you as a creator, you are getting people to stay on their platform. You're retaining the viewers on the platform and keep on watching the videos on YouTube. And 
YouTube make money from ads, right? That's all they want. They want people to stay on their platform. They want to make money from you viewing the ads on YouTube. So if your job as a creator, you align yourself with YouTube, you help them to retain the people on their platform, keep on watching the videos. They're going to reward you, okay, by pushing your videos to more people. So call to action, very important. You can ask them to watch the next videos, to subscribe to the channel. And also second one is that link in the description. This is how you can make money, right? You're going to ask people, click on the link in the video description below so that they click on that. They're going to go into your funnel, into your opt-in page. Don't do direct affiliate linking. That's the wrong way to do it. You're going to drive the traffic into your funnel, into your opt-in page so they can collect the email, so they can build your email so that in the future you can remarket to them as well in the future. And you can also send out emails to promote your next new video. For example, you publish your next new videos tomorrow. You can send out emails to like 500 people and then more people will straight away watch your videos to get a lot of views at the start and then YouTube will push more of your content to newer audience. So that's very important to build a funnel, to build an opt-in page and build your email list as well. So once again, these are the three different parts like the hook, main content and the call to action. Now the total video length, a lot of people ask me like, how long should I make my videos? So my answer is as long as it needs to be. So depending on the topic that you want to cover, if you can cover them in 6, 8, 12 or even you need 24, 30 minutes to cover them, it's fine as long as you deliver the point, as long as you deliver the promises and the outcome that you promised the viewers at the start, you just have to deliver them without any fluff. Don't make it long for the purpose of just like make it long, a lot of fluff. Your retention rate will be low. So ideally, you're going to shoot for more than 10 minutes because when you're making longer video, you can rack up more watch time, right? And the number one metrics right now is just a watch time. Like YouTube want people watch longer videos, watch more videos, spend more time on YouTube. So your number one job is to get people to click on the videos and watch your video longer. So ideally, the longer videos that you create, the more watch time you can accumulate. So the key metrics here is the total watch time. As you can see here, I'm just going to change it real quick here. It's the total watch time accumulated. So that's very important for your channel success, right? The more videos you publish, the more watch time that you accumulate in history, right? All time history in your channel, your channel will become more like an authority channel in your niche, right? YouTube you're gonna promote more of your videos in your category and in your industry. So total watch time accumulated, and also percentage retention in the first 30 seconds, right? That's why the hook and the intro is very important because you wanna get people, as much people as possible in the first 30 seconds. This is one of the key metrics that YouTube, they pay attention right now is in the first 30 seconds, how many percent of people still watching? So ideally you wanna shoot for 60 to 70%. And that's actually very good. Can you imagine that even though you are this good, there's still 30 to 40% of the people that don't watch. They just bounce off the videos in the first 30 seconds. So we're going to do your very best in the intro to keep and retain the next 60 or 70% of the people. And also the overall retention rate, the entire video, you like to let people to watch 30 or 50% of the entire video. 30 to 40% is actually above average, pretty good. If you can shoot for 50%, it's actually a viral video because people watch half of the videos. And that's actually a lot because most most videos, they only get about 20, 30, 40% retention rate. So this is basically the perfect video formula. That's how you can structure your videos, plan out your videos, and you know exactly what kind of content you want to produce using the curious learner method, and then plug in inside this perfect video formula, and then using a trailer board to plan ahead for your entire content strategy or content management. And by using the research, right, keep on filling up with new video ideas, new content, new keywords. That's how you can grow your YouTube channel and grow your affiliate marketing business so they can get more sales consistently because the videos that you publish on YouTube they're gonna be here like eight months ago. You can see that this one like a couple of years ago, like two years ago. Videos that you published for years and years ago, they still rank on keywords. And every single day you're getting traffic even while you sleep, while you're traveling. Can you see how this business model is going? The power of using YouTube to grow your business, not only you make a flip commission and building an email list, you also get paid from AdSense. Right? YouTube gonna pay you money for every single time the ads so I play on your video. People click on the ads, you make money. You make 55% of the revenue and Google get 45%. So that's another incredible income source that you can add on top of your affiliate commission. So for me, myself, even from my AdSense revenue, I'm making six figures a year from just AdSense. Can you see that? And from my affiliate commission, I'm making multiple six and seven figures from the affiliate commission. So this is how you can build up, right? The more videos that you publish, it's just like a mini real estate, right? 50 videos, 100 videos. Look at, for example, this channel, Central Media. How many videos they are there on their channel? It's just like a mini real estate. And every single day, all these mini real estate, they're paying you rent passively. You're like a digital landlord, right? now and you don't need to do any maintenance. You can see that it's just a YouTube help you to promote the videos and every single month you're getting the paycheck from Google AdSense, from the commissions, building an email list. The more video you publish, the more rich and wealthy you're going to get. So that's basically the entire strategy on how you can make money from YouTube with your affiliate marketing business. So right now, if you want to learn exactly how to use the power of YouTube and free traffic plus affiliate marketing and build your own 10K per month affiliate marketing business, make sure to click on the link in the video description below to check out a free training where I reveal exactly how I started from zero
zero from nothing and then start to build my six-figure affiliate marketing business and eventually able to quit my job as a pharmacist and I just work full-time from home and eventually scale my business to even seven figures. I'll share with you all my secrets, everything, all the system, tool and automation with you inside the free training. So make sure to check out the link in the video description below. Click on that, watch it right now and I'll see you inside the training.